Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School Drawing, I'll show you one way to draw a simple view of a library, books in a library, using one point perspective. The basic principle of one point perspective is that you have a vanishing point in the center of the horizon, and all of the receding lines go towards this one single vanishing point. The horizon line represents the eye level of the viewer, the height of the eye of the viewer. And the vanishing point is the point in the center of the line in one point perspective. And it is this one single vanishing point where all of the parallel lines that are receding from us will go towards. For this drawing, we need to draw a baseline below the horizon line, and then another baseline at the top of the horizon line for the top and base of the sides of the bookcases that we're going to draw. Then on either side of our central vanishing point, we can draw the side edges of two bookcases for the library and these will just be two long thin rectangles. We're using a baseline so that we can line these two shapes up so that they're the same height to each other. Once you have the two sides of the bookcases drawn in then we can draw the perspective lines going towards the vanishing point. So these are the lines of the top and the bottom of the bookcases as they recede away from us towards the horizon in the distance. Now they're not going to go all the way to the horizon, they're not that long, but we can make them look very long by drawing the back vertical line of the bookcase quite near the horizon line and quite near the vanishing point. Don't make it too near the vanishing point because then the bookcases will just look too long, they'll look unrealistic. A train track will go all the way to the vanishing point but a bookcase won't. Next we can draw some marker points so that we have the height of the shelves for each of the bookcases and then we can just repeat receding lines going towards our one single vanishing point. As this is a drawing in one point perspective, we're looking straight ahead at objects that are receding away from us, which have parallel lines in the objects that are receding away. That's why it's useful to use one point perspective for a drawing like this. Once we have these receding lines going away, next, we can draw a thin thickness, as it were, for the bookcases, and we can use the vanishing point as a guide to show how the thickness of each of the shelves will get narrower and thinner as it goes towards the vanishing point, and thicker as it comes towards us, the viewer. So we just need a thin thickness for both of the bookcases. Once you've worked out that, they look symmetrical, so we've got two bookcases that look the same, then we can draw some vertical lines for all of the books in the bookcases. Now this is just a sketch, but I might later on draw the books in a little bit more detail. Don't need a lot of detail, it's a lot of books, but it will give an indication just by drawing some vertical lines in each of the bookcases. And these lines should get closer together as they go towards the vanishing point, and maybe fainter as they go towards the vanishing point too.
So something like that would be a start. And then for this drawing, I'm going to go over all of the lines with a pen because I want it to be a pen drawing, I think. But um, I'm not going to do it pen drawing first of all. So the pencil lines are really helping as a guideline. And then when I draw over the pencil lines with a pen, then I can put a few more details in. Once you've got the first two bookcases in, we could make a gap, same sort of gap as we had between the first two bookcases and draw another side of a bookcase on the left hand side. Again, using the bottom baseline and the top baseline so that we're lining up all of the fronts of the sides of the bookcases. And now for the receding lines, they'll still go towards the vanishing point because all of these bookcases are parallel to each other and receding from us, the viewer. So that's why it's so useful to have this single vanishing point. It means we know where to place the receding lines of each of the bookcases. And we know where to place the baselines because of the base guideline that we've got for the bottom and the top of each bookcase too. Now the height of the shelves of the bookcases will be the same for each of the nearest parts of the bookcases because they are the same distance from us, the viewer. So we can line those up with some dots as markers so that we know where to draw the lines. Next, we just need to draw more receding perspective lines going towards the single vanishing point for the bookcase on the left. And then also for the bookcase on the right. So in this drawing, I'm trying to make it symmetrical because, well, I guess most libraries would place their bookcases symmetrically. They like some sort of order so that you can walk down the various bookcases and find the books that you're looking for. So just speeding up the drawing and you can see that I'm sort of indicating different heights and thicknesses of books. And then if we draw some evenly spaced marks along the front baseline, then we can draw some receding lines going away from us for the floor. And then some horizontal lines. We can draw some horizontal lines going towards the vanishing point as they sort of stack up. And as they go towards the vanishing point, they'll get nearer to each other. But as these horizontal lines for the sort of checkered floor, as they get nearer us, there'll be larger gaps. And then in the far distance, maybe slightly below the furthest part of the bookcase, we can draw a horizontal line for the back top line of the wall. And then two lines going towards the vanishing point from the top of the drawing. And then we can divide these up from small shapes getting to larger shapes. And these could be maybe some fluorescent lights in cases for the ceiling. So that's the basic drawing of a library using one point perspective. You might want to add some more details and add some tones, some shading, light and dark. If you'd like to find out more about how to draw and how to draw using perspective, please consider visiting my website, circlelineartschool.com. If you've got any ideas of videos you'd like to see in the future, drawings you'd like to see in the future, just post your ideas in the comments below. I read all your comments. Thanks very much for your support. I hope you found this drawing useful for your own drawings. If you'd like to learn more about Circle Line Art School, please go to my website, circlelineartschool.com. Thanks for watching and see you next time.